Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to our Team Jet's Kislev playthrough. Uh, our, our mother and daughter, uh, which and the, um, something I can't say on YouTube, playthrough. But I am playing <laughs> as the Tsarina and Boris, who is making a pilgrimage back from the far north. We're actually abandoning all this territory because I have no desire to. I, I basically confederated to get him. I can't be bothered with his territory. It will give us a lot of money, however. Um, and and I've just started a fight to clear the orcs out of this territory. And, and Tom, you are you are currently uh, exploring ruins in the mountains, right? Right, right? Exploring ruins yes, yes. and uh, dealing with certain infestations. But yeah, uh, otherwise, uh, pretty pretty happy on this side, I believe. Yes, um, yes. <laughs> oh. Sorry, I just noticed one thing on my side. Because I'm meant to be able to build build uh, Kislev buildings when an ally controls one of the major settlements. And you control Kislev. Oh. But... It could I... be a bug in the game. So basically, I am locked out of all normal Kislev until units. You, until you get some territory. So basically, we want to make sure you get pra hold of Prague. Yeah. I'm just looking through some of my territory because some of my recruitment buildings I don't really need duplicated around the place. Um, but yeah, no, uh, there's nothing else going on my side. Yep, over to my screen. I'm just clearing out a few buildings before I hit end turn. Uh, and some of my newly acquired territories over here. It's odd. I don't seem to have a confederation debuff. That is uh, very enviable. <laughs> I mean, at this rate, I'm actually going to be able to get the... Uh, I'll be able to confederate the orthodoxy relatively quickly. Which, uh, this way, right the orthodoxy is expanding, his level be huge. Whereas I mean, not as you're... big as the empire. I mean, confederating the full empire in this must make you just spectacular. Oh, yeah. Whereas uh, your little old grandmother in the mountains here is uh, <laughs> struggling ever so slightly. I, I, I am currently bordering Festus, by the way. However, I was going to say, I don't think I called you into the wall against the Skaven, did I? No, you didn't. Yeah, I think let's keep it that way. <laughs> Only need one of us to suffer. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm quite glad I got the Bone Rattlers to peace with me because I was a bit worried about having them below me there. Um, the vamps in the centre are actually proving quite useful because they are proving uh, a pain in the butt for um, the Orthodoxy. They're stopping the, the Orthodoxy getting too powerful. The issue is Northern Kislev does look fairly um, battered. <laughs> Sounds about right. The Tsarina bids you welcome. Uh, I admit, I would quite like to try and take Erengrad, but... <laughs> just for the harbour. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, oh, I, thought, I, I need to call you into this one. You probably won't get impacted, but the dwar the the orcs across the river have also have joined the war. Oh, the vampires said no, traitors, traitors. Wah, wah, wah. I just realised the uh, greenskins oh, can just use the underway to cross the river. Oh yeah, ah oh, bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, the um, they they orny backslider. It's, uh, has appeared and has a full stack near my boss. Oh, and... Ah, you remember what I was saying about whilst dealing with a Skaven? Yes. Well, it's happened. The, uh... Eek. Kislev tribes have declared war on me in the north. Um, I am not calling you in. At least they're not somebody's vassal yet. I mean, the worst case, I can always feed you some territory. Alright. I am going to see if I can peace out with the uh, 
Skaven. I am invoking Tor. Basically, every time I fight a battle, I will gain supporters. For survival. This land is I'm really... W I'm going to see if I can trade him Carrick Angle back for uh, I prefer peace. Yeah, they will accept peace if I trade yeah, them back for settlement. It's up to you. Yeah. Coward, coward. No, I've, I've got to do it. I've got to go focus on the north now. It's uh yeah, I'm 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 bringing all my armies together uh to try and just just get myself in a bit of a stronger position. And obviously, so um, have you done that? Are you done on your nope, side? No, I am nope. uh just doing the diplomacy now. Uh Oh, you're piecing with the Skaven. Yep. And I'm giving them that settlement I took back. No, I thought you were giving the Norskans a region. No. This is uh, the true secret of the mother. Take settlements, give them back to the people you <laughs> took it from. Once and... I am secure down here, I will potentially be going for them. Yeah, but I, I had to. It was either start losing my regions to the north, which... Yeah. Right, anyway, back over to my screen. Uh, let's start Boris. Let's get Boris moving. Boris Ursus himself. Basically, the question is, am I quicker going via sea? Via I'm probably safer going via sea, aren't I? Um... I mean, that's that's a tricky one. I don't think I am. I'm just going to... The thing is, I, I'm going to try and... Eh, I'm less likely to cause 98 million wars going via sea. Are you, though? <laughs> yes. Oh, actually, let's move my Ataman about. Because I've got another region which makes decent money. So I've moved my Ataman there. Well, we all have absolute faith in your uh, Ataman. Started building some defences. Ooh, vine! Got something good? Wine. Wine is always good. For different reasons. And... And I've recruited a Law of Beasts hag who is going to start heading over to the war zone. I think two hags in my army, including my lord, is good. Because with get, the... You get really good buffs for hags as well, though. Uh, the Mastery of but... Elemental Winds. Because when two or more units in this army share yeah. this attribute. Let's see. I'm trying to remember how what the actual uh, increase percentage is. Hey, I'm all done. Or the law of elemental winds. No, I don't know. Our common cause shall hmm. Ooh, Tostalton wants a defensive alliance. I am going to tell Take him it. to go sod himself. Well, because he can confederate with him. I thought it was only military alliance, which actually... No! You can only confederate with him with the... I can't declare war on him. I can only confederate him through the mechanic unless they've bro SFO's broken it. I mean, I was going to say, why not take a defensive alliance? Draw him into more wars. Because uh, I'll get drawn into his wars and I, uh, right. I want... And, and he's fighting the vamps to my, to my north. I don't want to be fighting. I kind of want to try and build a friendship with them again because... They are a really nice buffer state there, actually. Well, I to be fair, yeah, because they've been friendly with me. It's been nice. What's Red Eye doing? Orny Backslider's going to his capital. I hid the Zarina. 
in Amber Stance, hoping they'd go there, but that's absolutely fine what he's done, because I can, um, I can start positioning people in better places and potentially bring both armies to bear on him. Oh, you recruited a Hag Lord with the, uh... Oh, bugger, I meant to recruit a Hag Hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, I recruited a Hag Hero. I had a Hag Lord for... I've had a Hag Lord for a while. Yeah, I, I completely forgot that. Yeah, I mean... I am a huge fan of Hag Lords, but I think that's because they're decent melee and ranged casters. Forest, hag. All right. Yeah, that is a uh, looking quite a nasty army they've got, actually. It suits my purposes. Um. I'm trying to. I'm just doing a bit of recent check on. Uh, Sorry, I'm looking at mine. Uh, so, so they've moved here, guys, and I'm just trying to bring everything to bear. But they've got. Uh, it's not. A, it's a lot of archers, but they've got a lot of trolls in it, which I don't really want to be fighting. Yay! Eric, back to your screen. Uh, yeah, no, sorry. I'm looking at the tech trees because I'm trying to figure out the. Uh, what I want to go for. I think I need to go for Norse Hatred, the plus two bonus to attack, defense, and I, leadership. I think that's going to be very useful for you. See, down here, yeah. I'm not fighting the Norse. In the green Southlands of Kislev, the slightly less, green, less frosty Southlands, I've mostly been fighting, you know, non-chaos. Mm-hmm. Unlike the uh, cosy northern regions. I've mostly been fighting greenskins, to be fair. Alright. So that region's pretty chipper. But yeah, once I've consolidated down here, I'll probably... I'll be pushing up into the mountains, and what I'll do is I'll feed you the mountains. I said, guy, if, if you want the Kislev foothold... If, it, if you want the Kislev foothills, I'm more than happy to feed them to you. Um, I will want them, but I've got too much other stuff to sort of focus on right now, which means they're probably better in your hands currently. I mean, you, 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 are, you clearly need to get the Ducalis forest as well at some point, because it's a forest. Oh, yes. Basically, I, I think you should take kind of the Eastern Oblast. That's sort of where we should aim for you to have, and then into the mountains and the Wheatlands. Well, I'm going to try and take uh, all these mount uh, basically the Kras Und to the Manticore hunting grounds. Basically bordering the hell gates of hell. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I think taking help it could be our end game. <laughs> our attempt to take it cuz well, yeah. <laughs> that does look tempting to take the ninth circle. And if I get all the perks for a get fighting against... Don't you dare you get! Ah, oh, the orthodoxy beat me to the um, forest. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Um, the actual the advantage that I've got with piecing out with the Skaven is to get to my territory, people have to travel through the Skaven territory. Yeah, but I wouldn't trust them more than I could. I, I would not be surprised I know. if in five turns they went to war with you. Oh, shit. But it oh, gives me a chance to build up my defences. What are the red eyes going to do? Interesting. They've all gone to double time. I think they're about to retreat. They might have... Uh... Hmm. No, they've stayed in the main settlement. That's good, though, because I can potentially bring multiple armies to bear on that settlement next turn. You have your multiple armies, me. The vampire <laughs> counts want to give me a trade agreement for money. Yeah, I'll take the money. Me of my single army. Of basic units. I am going to have to recruit more spiders. The spiders are just the best. Mm. Right. 
right. Let's try this. This is definitely a risky move. If they don't have too big a garrison, this might not be that risky a move. My decision is law. Oh, SFO have removed siege attacker from overlords, haven't they? Uh, not from all, no, like my lord still got siege um, attacker, but that's because they're um, a mounted heavy. Yeah, unit. but no, in base game, every lord has siege attacker now. I still don't. You you keep telling me, and they keep forgetting to check. They do. Every lord in the base game has it as default. I don't think it appears as siege attacker, but you can as any lord siege attack. I, I am actually going to check this at some point because I freely admit I don't believe you. Uh, no, it was right. a change they specifically made. So I'm just uh, making sure I have more giant spiders. Right, I've 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 got that under siege. Boris is at sea. I would be slightly quicker going across land, but it's only slightly. Um, how heavy should I go into the giant spiders? I don't know. I think four units of giant spiders is enough. All the giant spiders? <laughs> it is tempting. Every giant spider in existence? I say. Very, very tempting. Um... I'm trying to figure out if I've got a settlement which is semi-safe because it's all trapped in the mountains, but I think there's a walkway through. Yeah, there is. But I don't... Oh, no, they can go to war with you. Um, I think you're relatively safe there. Yeah. I need the extra booster income. And let's just apply a skill point. Reduce for corruption. And yeah, I believe that is turn on my end. Is it actually gonna end turn? I think so. I think it's trying to figure out what all the uh, all the factions are wanting to do. I think the Red Eye are going to try and offer me peace. And I may... No. See, this is the thing. You should be able to try and take multiple... I am so, so very glad I pieced out with the Bone Rattlers. Because Azag the Slaughterer has got a massive army down there. He's going to start stretching himself too thin, hopefully. He's kind of stretched around. The issue is, he's kind of scary. I'm more worried about Festus, to be fair. This border down here is quite nasty. <laughs> I, this is where I think there's a bit of a mistake. Oh. Oh. Oh, they're light trying to lightning strike out against me. Damn, we need to fight this. Uh-oh. It's a victory. Oh. Why didn't you auto it? <laughs> because I lost shit ton of units. I lost like four units if I autoed it. That's four units compared to losing a whole army. Nah, they're literally all archers. Uh, the Doom Diver is the, the, is the threat. Yeah. Oh, what are they? Uh, I can't see it. If it's... Uh, oh, you're looking unit. at special goblins. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, those are forest goblins. Ooh. Basically, they deal toxic damage, like my spiders. But they're otherwise based same stats it's as all nice the goblins. It's a nice open map. Basically, if I'd had my second army reinforcing, they've lightning striked me. Uh, now, lightning strike, they shouldn't have reinforcements themselves. That's weird. Why have my other army not been able to assist them? Are you going to utilize the woods to defend yourself from the ranged no. attack initially? Uh, no, because it doesn't make any difference remember there anymore. All 
I, I am ready to move up with uh, kiddies. Yeah, I'm just creating a bit of a formation with a little bit of a false gap in the center to protect my Streltsy a little bit more. I would definitely say keep the ac uh, the Acolytes person in the woods. Oh yeah, I mean, they're going to be used more as flankers, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm going to try and get around there Do not disappoint back to the Doom Divers Sire. when I see where they're they moving. Are. Yep. It is so. Oh, remember they're attacking. Oh yeah, good point. But they can, even though, so they can sit right back. Yeah, get those Doom Divers as quickly as you can. And to be fair, you're going to have so much fun ruining their ranged. Oh, yes. All right. I'm already rejigging my formation slightly. The orthodoxy is yours. All right, I'm sending both units for the Doom Divers. Yep, the Doom Divers are firing. It has its surprising. But they are almost engaged. <laughs> the wizard hit the Doom Divers. <laughs> right. All right, the Doom Divers are fully engaged. And are close to routing. Right, I'll keep one unit chasing down the Doom Divers so we don't rally. And I'll send the other. Yeah, get into their range as quick as. As soon as they've completely broken, obviously. Oh, you want to charge me? Gonna do it very slowly, boys. Uh, check your woods. Yeah, I know, I can't. They're, they're, all their units are faster than me, so I can't really disengage. So they're going to have to try and cope. They're, they're basically probably going to die. Oh! Wog! Sorry, no, they, they've got uh, cavalry getting behind me. The Doom Divers still haven't gone fully broken. So I'm still just chasing them down. Right. Come on, Snowball. Away with ye. Oh, my right flank is taking a bit of a pounding. Yeah. I will try and bring... There we go, Doom Divers completely. Good. Yeah, oh. I need their range now. I mean, to be fair, we're not doing badly because we, we are quite anti... You know, we've got a lot of anti... Anti... Uh, anti... Uh, shield... Uh, arrow defense. Yeah. That, I'm... Uh, I'm... I'm Count. Yeah, you know, you know the jam. I mean, to be fair, they're nearly out of melee. <laughs> they're nearly out of melee units. My guys <laughs> in the woods are kicking butt. Yeah, it's because they got good melee attack and melee defense and physical resistance. Thirty-five percent physical Land resistance. Don't uh, forget. That's remember they've got uh, rage. Yeah, as well. Yeah. Is duty. 
Right, Whiskers has joined the fight and is disrupting their main raid. Of course. Your armored castles are out of ammo, basically. You might as well. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, but it's also picking the fight. Right. Whiskers is getting a little bit overwhelmed, so out you come, Whiskers. Oh, you didn't want to stick, stack multiple units together. Oh, uh, what was this? They stacked multiple units together, so I made them go pot. Oh, yes. By right. the way, all of their archers are now slow as well. Fantastic. Yeah, Whiskers has rallied, but I'm going to leave Whiskers out of combat momentarily just to get full. If you can throw some support onto the far right, if you're too far away, don't worry, it's just my uh... Strokes, you're actually being out archered. Oh, yeah, I see those Night Golden Archers. Yeah, I'll uh, get over there. To be fair, I'm charging the Strokes into melee. <laughs> and the Strokes will win that fight. have already won that fight. Oh. All right. This is the bit where it's just a pain dealing with everything. Oh god, the Tsarina is actually in a quite a bit of pain. I'll try and send Snowball her way. Uh, by the way, those Streltsy on the left hand side, they've got a unit of trolls running to them. That's fine. Yeah, snow leopards are great at chasing things down. Their range Obviously. are being the problem at the moment. Yeah. Get your butt out of there! Right, I'll send the... It's over, after. it's over, oh. they're breaking. Oh, well, they're not all breaking. Annoyingly, I might... Ah, oh, you know what's really annoying about this and why we should have done the auto? Because they're not going to get wiped out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. And you've almost lost units. Yeah. I'm actually in danger of losing. No, uh, doing I'm, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm bringing in support to Sarina. Yeah, that, to be fair, I could use you on their heroes more than anything. Yep, I'm on that. The people's ruler. Uh, the Tsarina is almost out. Yeah, I know. Um, plus, I, it's because you're fighting in woods. Yeah, I, I had no choice. It was that or let the range just keep hitting her. Well, Whis uh, Snowball is saving the day. Oh, no, sorry. Whiskers is saving the day. There we go. Try and do as much damage to units fleeing as you can. Oh, yes. Do you want me to focus on trying to take out the heroes? Um, if you want, I'd, I'd say units are probably more important. Well, I've almost taken out the wizard. Yeah, I've, I've, I've nearly taken out the orc.
trying to focus on their range units. Basically, at the moment, it's reducing their numbers as much as possible. Yeah. I'm going to end it here. We're not going to get much more. How do you say that? The kitty cats were... Uh... Once they're down so, to like 10%, but to be fair, considering that battle was quite good. Oh, yeah. I didn't get that I mean, many losses. Didn't even wipe out their Doom Divers. That's annoying. I, it was either focus on completely wiping yeah. out the Doom Divers. To be fair, or... I'm, I'm going to have another army supporting me next time for the actual attack. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. But, uh... Yeah, that that in all in all, as you say, that wasn't really wasn't a bad. No, it was a good fight. It's a shame. This is the negative about autos. Is is I don't like the fact autos kill the whole army. And I get I mean, kind of get. We do. <laughs> I do. But it forces you to do things which aren't nap. You know, it, it it it's it's not Actually, a good way of playing. If you see what I mean, it it's uh. The fact it fully wipes them out. I get why it does it, because it's for players who don't like fighting battles, let's be honest. One thing which I really wish they did. When, if you retreated from a battle near a settlement, it would make so much more sense for your army to run to that settlement. Yes. They, they I, don't. They to just... be fair, you should be able to choose the retreat route. Mm. Yeah, I completely. You should be able to choose. You, it should be limited, depending on where you're attacked. But you should be able to choose how you retreat. Yeah, I can see that, to be fair. I can't believe I haven't even completed three regions yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I only have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, dangerous winds. Oh no! The ice court dominates! Yes! Let's just have a look at my diplomacy. Ah, oh, my quick diplomacy. Nobody yes. I can confederate anymore left alive. Them. Yeah, decisive, no losses. We did enough. Never falters. That is what we like to hear. I'm marching the other army straight past to go for the next thing. Okay. And start keeping the boss man coming home. Oh, I've unlocked uh, a regiment of renown, the uh, brawlers. Nice, nice. It's always nice to be unlocking the regiments. Oh, and some hunters. Yeah, it's the first one I think I've actually got. Yeah, no, I, I got exactly the same. Um... I need to up my defences in this region here because I'm really concerned about Azag. But then again, this, this Orc War is probably going to end relatively soon. Anyway, that is where we're going to leave it for today, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying this playthrough. And please do like and subscribe if you are, guys. Other than that, as always, an extra, extra special thank you to our channel members and Patreons. Um, oh, but yeah, next time you're going to keep focusing on North and I'm going to finish off these guys and then we'll work out where we're going from there. Anyway, as, as I mentioned, thank you to the Patreons. Uh, that is uh, Monster Bound, Philip F, Nose Nose, Andrew T, Britaru, Brandon, Space Ace 475, Coding Monster, Jason Air, Egg, Scrin, Noobie One Kenobi, Jared Horn, and Good Sir Twisted. And thank you all for watching. Cheers all.